Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I've been sitting here in my home with access to my stuff and I'm about to put on makeup and skincare and I felt like it probably made sense that I jump on, maybe share with you a new goodie or two that I purchased, but really kind of just take you on on a chatty get ready with me, give you a life update with some highs and lows. I'm gonna try not to get too emotional, but I do wanna just sort of breathe it all out and um, be able to share with this really special community that I, I treasure um, this relationship and being able to um, talk freely, um, even though I'm like tinkering with skincare and makeup. So if that interests you, and if you are curious about what's been going on, and if you're curious about this Dose of Colors adorable collection, I have the Daisy Duck collection. <laughs> I got three part pieces of it, and um, part of my chatty get ready with me will be why would I have gotten such a cutie co collection? Um, yeah, stay tuned. I just got out of the shower, and I felt like since I'll be playing with this cute collection and Daisy Duck has her little bow on her head. I figured I'd put my little bow on my head and make it all make sense. Um, I just recently got back from Miami uh, from seeing my family spending a few weeks, more than a few weeks down there. And um, I'm actually flying back tomorrow. So today's Saturday. So it was just a few days in New York. Um, right now I'm just putting on my Clarins double serum and yeah I'll be flying down tomorrow morning and I will probably probably be staying there for a few weeks without returning back to New York. For those of you who don't know I have been traveling back and forth since about mid-March because my father you know has taken ill and though we have tried treatments and things um, unfortunately, you know, nothing's really helped and, and his health has um, deteriorated quite significantly. So I want to be able to spend obviously as much time with my dad as possible. And so I will be headed down there and just kind of staying put for a bit. Um, maybe an occasional weekend or so coming back up here because my husband is here and um, I don't want to be apart from him forever so um, we're just kind of like sorting it all out and making it work but needless to say it's been a very sad few weeks um, having learned that the treatment really hadn't helped him and so yeah I really haven't been in this situation very often in my life thank god you know knock on wood um, so it's almost like processing absolutely new things, you know, like a new lens on life. And sometimes that lens is really bleak and, you know, anything that I can hold on to that is good and um, and that lets me even escape a little bit, even if it's something as, as silly as applying makeup, I will try to do, though even this has become difficult. Like I, this would be the first time I apply makeup in like six days or like really care about even my skincare. Um, I've just been doing one step skincare, essentially like cleansing and some cream and that's it. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's just all very much in a flux. Um, let me jump into just applying makeup and I'll talk a little bit more and also talk a little bit more as to why I picked up this. This actually, the reason I picked this up was because of my dad which might sound really weird to people, but I'll explain, I will explain. And has changed quite a bit. I've gotten quite a lot of sun as I was down there and I have some serious um, hyperpigmentation, that melasma that has uh, appeared out of nowhere. Uh, welcome to your 40s, everyone, all that damage you you had all that all those little laying out in the sun when you were 16 this this is when it pops up um 
So I have actually invested in some crazy skincare that is waiting for me down in Florida. And I'm gonna start a process of trying to get to heal all of this because this is, this is just wild to me. I've never had it this bad. I used to have just one spot that would come up. Now this is like a, a whole mess um, of darkened skin. So yeah, if you're curious about like, will my treatment of melasma actually take care of my melasma, I will be happy to do a video on that. Um, I think I am gonna take photos and stuff because I'm always curious. I think I'm gonna try to use the Flower Beauty Chill Out Color Corrector and just sort of put a little bit on those areas because what I have found is since developing this darkness, if I put on just my foundation, it looks really, really muddy. So I do think color corrector is needed. I don't wanna go overboard, but this is a really pretty color corrector. This is the Chill Out in the shade Light Peach by Flower. I'm applying my Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. This one, this one's really pretty. I love it. It's costly for the amount that you get, but it's really nice. Although I just realized it kind of separated a little bit, probably sitting in this hot room and not being used. So it's a little thin right now, but that's okay. There's a nice sheen to it without it being too luminous. Maybe I'm gonna powder a little bit just because it is so warm in New York and even if I'm home, this will, I feel like, break down really easily because I don't have AC everywhere. So I'm gonna use the Bye Bye Pores, Press Pores by It Cosmetics. It's a really good powder. It's so smoothing and blurring, so this is definitely worth worth it, especially if that's something that you like. Let's go into this little beauty. So this is the Dose of Colors and Disney collaboration. Uh, Daisy Duck and Donald Duck are featured here. Um, when I saw this announced, I just knew I was going to buy it. I didn't care what was on the inside. I'm not normally that kind of person, but... Being that I'm going through so much with my dad and Donald Duck is like my dad's character. So I don't know if this is a thing, but at least it is a thing. Maybe if you grow up in Florida, but we were, even though we were in Miami, you know, Disney was, Disney World in Orlando was our favorite place to go as a family. And so we would drive up there. It's about four hours, the drive. And sometimes we would do a long weekend and we didn't have to stay at like the best resorts or anything, but they do do specials for Florida residents all the time. And I just remember like my favorite memories are at Disney World. Um, and I don't know, it allowed my parents to feel like kids and we felt like kids and we really bought into everything, you know, like in the terms of when we were there, we kind of behaved the best we could ever behave. Um, we were like under the spell of Disney and we were just that kind of family. And I think that we each attached to a character. So um, for me, that character was Winnie the Pooh. And in fact, my first words spoken were Pooh. Uh, I pointed at Winnie the Pooh and I said, Pooh. Um, so that just shows <laughs> how obsessed my family was with Disney. And, um, and so Winnie the Pooh has always been my character. So if there's Winnie the Pooh makeup, like I have to show some self-control. Um, for my sister, it's always been Minnie Mouse. I'm not sure where that started, but for her, it was always Minnie Mouse. For my mom, she's been Tinkerbell. It's the character she's like latched onto the most. And for my dad, it's Donald Duck. And my dad, you know, he gets himself in situations that like Donald Duck gets himself into. And the frustration and anger and the way Donald Duck expresses himself is exactly how my dad expresses himself. In fact, jokingly, like my dad doesn't like to go into the ocean because crabs always come and like 
bite his toes, but we could go into the same body of water and no crab attacks my feet or my mom's feet or my sister's foot, like nothing. But my dad, if he goes in the water, a crab will come after him. It's so bizarre. We've seen it happen. And there's even a funny picture. Maybe I'll, in, I'll try to find it. I'll insert it here. We bought it for my dad. And, um, and yeah, Donald Duck even had, gets crabs on his feet, uh, crabs attacking him. And just his sort of like gruff and when he starts to get angry, you can't even hear what he's saying. Like my dad is exactly the same way. Like you can't even understand what he's saying because he's all like, rrr, rrr, rrr. so, um, so yeah. So this, you know, Donald Duck will always remind me of my dad and I saw this and I was like, I'm going to buy Donald Duck makeup. I don't care. Why not? I'm going to use it happily. And then I saw how pretty the palette was inside. So this is the palette. It comes with these six really pretty wearable shades and this bronzer here. And the bronzer has a little um, chiseled out of Daisy and Donald. And in fact, just so you know, we named one of our dogs Daisy after Daisy Duck. I mean... We're not crazy Disney folks. I know there's some crazy Disney folks out there, which I love. So we don't have like tons of memorabilia and stuff, but just the actual experience of going to Disney World uh, for us held a lot of beautiful family memories. And so, yeah, that's essentially why I picked up this collection. So let me go ahead and put on this bronzer. This is not a first impression. I have been wearing this palette consistently for the last, um, not this these last six days because I haven't applied makeup, but before then um, for like 10 days, um, I have been wearing it and really, really enjoying it. I created lots of looks and I'm surprised at how pretty these shadows are. This is really my first experience with Dose of Colors um, shadows. And right now I'm just applying the bronzer. On me, the bronzer is light, it's, but it's a perfect color, like I can't go overboard. And definitely when I am paler in the winter months, it will be even more beautiful or impactful. Right now I have a bit of a tan, so it's just, it's subtle, but it's, it's pretty. It's a pretty color. It has some rosiness to it, which for me, I really like in bronzers, not reddish rosiness. There is a difference. So I feel like it reminds me a lot of the Flower Beauty uh, baked bronzer of theirs, the Heat Wave bronzer that I love um, in this shade Sunrise. This is very similar in tone. I'm, and I'm really impressed at how easily it applies and blends. It's adorable. And again, I have been using it consistently and still that adorable little um, imprint is there of Daisy and Donald Duck. I don't know why we haven't named a pet Donald. Donald is kind of an ugly name. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not a cute name, Donald. But maybe Donnie. Maybe we'll name a dog Donnie. That would be cute. I mean, did you see that? I just wiped off mustache sweat because it is that freaking hot in my room. So that is the bronzer. I think it's really, really nice. Let me do a quick swatch of all the colors, just so you can see. They're very deceiving, the sparkly colors. So these are the sparkly colors. And they're not, like this one has that really pretty duochrome, um, reddish, purple, blue. But they're not like insanely vibrant, but they're vibrant enough. Um, especially this purple is beautiful just all over the lid. Um, that's how I've been wearing it. So these are the matte colors and I swatched them over the other ones. They're very smooth. The XOXO shade, the mood shade, as well as the classic is just really just smooth and buttery and lovely and Here's a swatch. And the black is buildable. They're all buildable.
that's really the palette and I just think it actually yields a lot of wearable looks. I'm not just saying that like Pollyanna because you know I bought it. You don't have the same connection to Donald Duck as I do. But does anyone else have something like that? Like something where it's just like a childhood connection or a connection to a loved one that might seem silly to others but to you is really special and makes you want to, you know, I don't know. Let's do a quick eye look and in fact in swatching this I'm thinking this might make a really pretty blush color. So I just put some Oh yeah. That's a pretty blush. Sort of like a soft, warm, peachy color. Oh, pretty. I think I'm gonna do that pretty pink, pinkish purpley eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that XOXO shade, which is what I put on my cheeks this one here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it lightly on and I'm not using any primer again I'm just at home I'm not doing much I'm taking it easy because I'm on a plane tomorrow morning very early headed to the airport so I don't really need to be looking for longevity so oh, it the shades just blend really really nicely and they're very pigmented so these are the mattes and they're just very very nice if anyone you know really loves dose of color shadows and like recommends another palette maybe one of their core palettes something like really special let me know because I really do think this formula is quite nice then I'm just gonna go ahead and pat attitude in that's that purpley shade and this one I'm just gonna pat all over and I really like this for like a very summery beachy vibe what I love about it is there's some level of creaminess to it because it just spreads so nicely with your finger I mean look at how nicely diffused it is Normally you can't do that with your finger. So I really thought that was so, so nice. So that's that color there. And now I'm taking the color Mood, which is this brownie, but it has some rosiness to it. It's not like too, too dark. And I'm just sort of taking that and putting it right along my lash line, just on that outer corner. Nothing too heavy because I don't want a real heavy look, though I could take that black and kind of do the same. And then I'm gonna take that same brush and go into Mood and EXO, both of these, and just lightly go around the edge of my eye. Oh, I have to do my eyebrows next because that's distracting. And that's about it. You could put a little bit of this gold if you wanted to right in the inner corner for some brightness, which I think it does a nice job because it's not a very dark gold. It's more of a topper and it actually has some pink in it, which I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's really, really pretty and it's very reflective. So I love that eye look. I've, I've been really enjoying it and it's sort of like has this rosiness to it, goes well with the bronzer. I actually really like it with the blush. I haven't used this one in a while. So this is the Eyebrow uh, NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint in Ash Brown. I haven't used this in a while and I remember really enjoying it. <gasps> oh yeah, it's really pigmented. I'm barely touching it. So I'm gonna use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which has a nice little brush in it too, which will help diffuse some of those little splotchy areas. Pretty good eyebrow. Yes, no, maybe so. So I thought, let's go ahead and add a little bit of highlight because my cheeks are looking a little flat. And this is a very pretty highlight that I'm using, and I'll share with you 
palette. It's very natural, not chunky, and I really love this palette. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Trio. Pick this up. I'll use this in its entirety. This one's called Italian Summer. And I think I just, I never imagined I would pick this up because it just doesn't seem like something I would really love. But what I love about this highlight, it has a goldenness and a pink, a pink peach to it. And the bronzer is really, really pretty and the blush is really, really pretty. And I think I remember seeing Mel Thompson use it and that's what like convinced me to use it because every video that she was wearing it, I always thought, wow, I really like like her cheeks and her bronzer and all that good stuff. So that was why I purchased it. Um, last but not least, I got a lip pencil in the shade. I don't know what shade this is in because it doesn't say but it's kind of a toffee, toffee color. It's a very nice creamy lip liner. I'm not like, I don't usually wear a lip liner, but since I got a gloss I w and I knew the gloss was gonna be pretty unusual, I wanted something that was, that could define my lips underneath and I said, hey, let's give it a shot. So that's the lip liner, which I think is really, really a nice neutral lip liner. And then the lip gloss I got is this like peachy, glittery, it's called, this is the Daisy Duck. And it has this like blue shift. I mean, I thought this would make such a pretty topper. And the only exposure I've had to Dose of Colors prior to this was with their lip gloss and I love their lip gloss and the one shade I, I got of theirs was Messy Bun and I've always loved it. It's beautiful, beautiful texture, beautiful smell. Yeah. And so this is Daisy Duck. It's not like so crazy blue, right? It just, it has just the right amount of like shift so that it, it matches with the eyes really nicely. And I think it would match with that other kind of duochrome shade. But you can wear like a darker lip or a more purpley lip and have this on top to just give it a, a little boost. But I just love that it wasn't like a crazy, crazy blue. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand just so you can see it. So it's like mainly clear with this bluish tint. And I don't know, I just think it's a lot of fun. So these are the products I tried. Let me put on mascara and I'll jump right back on. Okay, so I just put on a quick coat of the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. Just one coat, I just wanted to finish up the eye look a little bit, nothing too too crazy, too traumatic. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well, that your families are healthy and safe, and there's a lot of craziness happening in the world right now. So let's just try to be a little kinder to each other. We're all going through different things, even if it's not, you know, something dramatic on the news or whatever. Um, some of us are having little internal crises that require some attention and affection and kindness. So um, with that, I'm sending everyone out there my love and um, I will speak to you soon. Take care.